Well, we're on the final day of October, and we have been discussing different topics regarding domestic violence and resources to help out victims throughout the month of October. Today, we have a guest, Andrea Sherman, who is the Director of Human Trafficking Support at Asian Association of Utah. Thank you for joining us here today. Yeah, thank you for having me. We have been trying to hit this topic as much as possible throughout the month to really raise awareness and help victims understand where resources are. First off, just paint the picture for us. How dangerous is human trafficking here in our state? Yeah, it, it's really, really um, happening a lot here. So we have both cases of sex trafficking and labor trafficking here in the uh, here in the state. Um, last year alone, we served about 580 survivors of trafficking, and over the last four years, we've received over 700 referrals, which is an immense amount of things that are happening here in our state. Okay, tell us then, how does human trafficking and domestic violence overlap? Yeah, there, there's many ways that it overlaps. So the vast majority of human trafficking survivors experience multiple forms of abuse, including sexual assault, including domestic violence. So some of the ways that they overlap is the types of abuse. So both traffickers and perpetrators of abuse use um, power and control strategies. So they may do physical abuse, um, sexual abuse, emotional, financial, all of those types are present in both both um, domestic violence and uh, human trafficking. And then another one is that there's an inc if a person has experienced or been exposed to domestic violence, it actually increases their vulnerability to being trafficked. So there's a really big correlation between those two. And then one of the third ones is that often a traf in trafficking, the trafficker is an intimate partner. So just like with domestic violence, so there's an intimate partner. Um, it is actually the top recruitment strategy in within the sex trafficking field. So, is your intimate partners involved? Intimate in that? partner. Mm -hmm. That is so interesting, and I, I wonder for those at home again yeah. to hear the numbers of how many reported cases you've had in the last year, two years. Mm -hmm. It just really does paint this picture of how serious and real it really is yeah. here in Utah, even. Yeah. So, tell us how does the Asian Association of Utah that you're with help survivors? Yeah, so our program is the largest and only federally funded program in the state. We cover the entire state of Utah. We serve all types of trafficking, all ages, all genders, and all immigration statuses. So we have a really diverse set of people that we're working with. And for those people, we're offering case management. We do a lot of housing. Um, we have an outreach, like a crisis drop-in center. We do education, and then we do a lot of strategic partnership. So one of those partnerships is with the Utah Attorney General's Office to run our statewide Utah Trafficking in Persons Task Force. Wow, okay, yeah. so you serve a lot of people, and for those at home, know someone, or are experiencing this themselves, yeah. understanding the resources that you have. How can the community overall really help to combat human trafficking? What advice would you give to those at home here today? Yeah, I think sometimes it's kind of, it feels overwhelming, right? Yes. They're not sure how to get involved, but something really simple is just learning more about it. So on our website, you can request training. So for an individual and organization, they can request training to learn more about human trafficking. They can support survivors by donating time, money, or in-kind donations. They can partner with us um, so that we can increase service options for the survivors. Um, and then using social media. We really encourage people to use their social media um, to create awareness about human trafficking. We also have some uh, awareness toolkits on our website that are available. And I think it's aware of being, being aware of the actual facts of it all. Because mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of information out there, right? But going to a reliable resource, you can really get those facts straight. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your time here yeah. today. Andrea Sherman, again, the Director of Human Trafficking Support at Asian Association of Utah. Thank you for the work that you do and for uh, giving this information to the public today. We do want to remind all of you at home that there are very important resources out there. This is Utah's domestic violence hotline that you're seeing on the screen. Now this hotline can connect you with a variety of resources, including shelter, legal help, or just someone to talk to. The Domestic Violence Coalition also says that this hotline can be for abusers who are trying to break the cycle of violence. So it is free, it is confidential, it's available 24 seven. Take a picture of this, go ahead and write it down. If you need it, call it, stay with us. Uh, Chief Meteorologist Alana Brophy will have your full forecast after the break.